Example of a typical storefront application. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we'll examine how water is channeled along the horizontal to the verticals and explore the different heights, vertical spacing, and anchor schedules associated with typical storefront applications. This is an example of a typical storefront application. Typically, storefronts are used up to maybe 10 feet in height for the most. Vertical spacing is a range of four foot on center. Lies of glass on top of the horizontal shouldn't exceed roughly about five feet due to dead load considerations. The red triangles here represent typical storefront anchor schedules. The anchors are concealed running through the interior of the glass pocket into the surrounding structure that needs to be structure around the frames to support their attachment. Perimeter anchors transfer the reaction or end reaction from the wind load to the surrounding condition. This is a section cut of a typical storefront horizontal. To the left is the exterior. The lower portion of the exterior horizontal is a removable glass stop. In this configuration, the system is glazed from the exterior. This can be reversed so that the system is glazed from the interior. The installing glass contractor can decide job by job if it is more economical to glaze from the interior or the exterior. Since storefronts are for lower elevations, in many applications, they can be reached with a lift from the exterior. Here's a section cut through a six inch storefront option. In this detail, the glazing is in the same plane as the quarter inch system, but the interior section is an inch and a half deeper, adding to the structural capacity of the system. While still intended for lower elevations, the six inch option allows you to exceed the height limitation of a four and a half inch system, but not compete with a curtain wall application. Notice in this section, this section has two extruded cavities for pour into bridge thermal break. Some manufacturers offer the option of a single thermal break as shown here, or a dual thermal break for ultra thermal performance. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.